Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Today, as you can probably tell from the timer on the video, is a bit of a special day. We are at part 100, and uh, on a lot of the series in my channel, I think... I haven't done it on all of them. I know specifically Xenoblade Chronicles X I didn't do this, but in, I think, just about every Tales series I did, I don't think I did it in Tales of Zestiria either. I know I did it in Tales of Zillia and Tales of Graces. But uh, when I get to part 100 of a series, I did it in Cyber Sleuth too. When I get to part 100 of a series, I do an hour-long part, kind of like a little celebratory, like, hey, we made it to 100 parts of the series, and, you know, it's been going good and stuff. So here we are, part 100. People seem to really enjoy it when I did uh, the hour-long part 100 for Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, for the most part, at least. So I hope people enjoy this one as well. I wanted to look at the shop to start today. Buy weapons, at the least. We're gonna get the Machina Sword. We're just gonna get the Machina everything. I imagine the Machina weapons are capable of harming, uh... They are capable of harming whatever it is I'm thinking of right now. Mechon. Kind of... Don't want to mess with armor that much, to be honest. Except for pants. Kind of want to mess with pants. Don't know if I want the Orion or the Stellar here. I think I want Stellar for everyone. So let's just get three. I'm going to go ahead and get four because we're probably going to want one for Sharla as well when she's back in the party. So I'm going to change pants because, as we know, the last time I changed pants, I was not a fan of what I ended up with. Let's hope that this looks better. Plus, these uh, Amethyst leggings don't have slots anyways. And I don't think the... No, neither do the Stellar leggings. Please look better. I like this better. It doesn't go that great with the shirt Dunban is wearing, but it looks better than the other one. I oh, see, it looks pretty good on Shulk. I like the look of it. I bet it would look better if I had the full Stellar outfit. It's alright on Ryan. That's fine. It's better than the alternative. I'll leave it at that. Uh, the Machina Sword. Is that... Is this better than the Machina Sword? Yeah, it is. What does this look like, though? That is the real question. Ooh. How do I, uh... How do I look at characters again? There we go. Kind of like it. It's not really sword-like. The problem is, is that it, uh... Gives me first attack instead of double attack. And I really like double attack. Does the other... Does the Machina Sword have a slot? I think I would rather have the Machina Sword. This one is... Fairly better. Not ridiculously so. I don't care about block rate, because I'd rather dodge than block stuff. Oh, I need to take the gem off of the anti mech on one. What does the Machina Sword look like? Does it look the same? How do I... There we go. What the heck is... Is the Machina Sword like an energy sword? Oh, yes. We're using the Machina Sword. It's it's decided right there. That was the deciding factor. Uh, I haven't messed with gems since last time, so... Still no new gems. Where is my... I have a level 4 double attack, don't I? Or do I only have a level 3? Might only have a level 3 one. I thought I had a level 4 that I just took off of the Machina Sword. That's Ether up. Electric plus. Where is my... There's a double attack 4 on Shulk. Surely if I had... I must have had two of them if I put one on Shulk. Yeah, there you are. I was about to say. Ah, oh, dude, this is sweet though. It's like having the Monado all over again for a Dunban here. Nice. Let's change out everyone's weapons. Make sure I take off the gems before I do so. Is this also like an energy weapon? Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's definitely Mechon esque. Machina Staff. Whoops. Can't really see it. I'm probably not gonna. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Probably not gonna get a good view of it until she uses it. Does this also use energy? Take out the staff, Melia. Yeah, I wanna see if you get a little energy thing on it. Use the staff, woman. Stop kicking your foot and pull out the staff. Come on. Okay, she's not gonna do it. Screw it. Uh, I should go ahead and put gems in it. Did I even take it out of... Oh, it, like, extends. That's cool. I don't think I took it out of your other weapon, did I? The anti mechon rod? No, I did not. Alright, I need that. Put you back to the Machina staff. Can't change out the Monado, obviously. 
Uh, Anti-mech on driver, take out the Topo Plus, and then put on the Machina Garter. What does that look like? Ooh. I like that a lot. I like these Machina weapons, man. They look cool. Look pretty cool. I think I want the Aether Defense up instead of the Topo Plus, to be honest. Because that about evens it out. I think I'd rather do that. For now, at least. Might change it later. Alright. I need to put back the ether up into this. This had an ether up 3, because I don't think I have any other... Uh, any other level 4 ether ups yet. Need to change that soon. And then Ricky, I gave a... Uh, he had a double attack. I just saw one of those. Where was it? Double attack 3. There we go. All right, sweet. So we're pretty all set up for now. This is what we're going to run with for the time being. All right, so Sharla is with uh, Melia. Not Melia. Sharla is with Fiora. Wrong wrong female. Uh, getting healed up. I need to talk to everyone who has a unique name to help unlock quests later on. Need to make sure that we have the uh, everyone on the affinity chart if possible. These pants do look pretty weird with this shirt on, but whatever. They have X down here? Or Ponyo, rather. Same difference. That's cool. Giant mech on debris. Looks like... I don't know how to describe it. It looks like kind of like bones. This is the giant uh, mech on thing I was looking at that I thought could be an enemy. Can I zoom out more? That's good. Give me this uh, ice ether. I need to find Wind Ether that's level 4, because that's the Ether that'll give me uh, agility ups, and I need higher level agility ups, and higher level double attacks, which I think I get from Earth Ether, maybe? Who knows? But anyways, let's get on over to the Wreckage Beach. Oh, look, we've got Mechon that are actually uh, operable here as well, not just debris. Can I uh, get up this ledge? Thank you. Thank you very much. Give me this. Poison Ivy. Why would you want to pick up Poison Ivy, I wonder? What is this? That's the last of the five digital filaments. Now Rizaka can fix the door of her house. Oh, hello. You ran into me while I was having a vision of the future. That's very rude of you, if I'm honest. Check out this awesome laser sword I've got, though. Like, what are you what are you going to do against this laser sword, man, besides die? Get on the ground. What a nerd. There we go. Now we're talking. Get the spirit breath going. As Melia shoots her magical yellow mist of death. Get dazed. Ricky, I need you to be killing stuff, if you don't mind. I don't know what you're doing right now. Ah, there you go. Burn stuff. That's what I'm talking about. I pressed B too early. It's not often I mess up those quick time events. Ah, yes, my power is coming back. Thank goodness. Time to die. Is there still another one? Oh, we're fighting these guys now too. Okay. I will destroy them all. There are more over there joining the fight too? Are you kidding? Where are all these Mechon coming from? They're coming out of the woodwork right now. Get on the ground. Everyone make sure you're focusing on the same Mechon so we can kill these guys a little faster. This one next. I'm gonna Blossom Dance it. Do not mess up the quick time events this time, Chaos. This is different battle music than normal, isn't it? It sounds different. Or maybe it's just because I haven't played in like a day and a half. But it definitely sounds different than normal. Alright, cool. We got a chain attack. Let's do this. Melia does have one uh, elemental. That's good. Yeah, you beat him good, Ricky. Show him who's boss. Do it good. Blaze. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Ricky, you were very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's get this one out of here. This is the final one. Is that what she just said? Thank goodness. How much is 100 no pawn really worth, though, Ricky? That was pretty easy. 
Don't mind if I do just take all of these items for my own. Thank you. All right. Digit one crevasse. Don't you just love being at crevasses? Some crabbles over here. So there are a lot of like Bionis creatures here as well. Very interesting. So much swimming we could do. We could just swim out into the ocean until we eventually have exhaustion. Which, uh, I think the fastest way is to go in this direction around the village. If I'm not mistaken. I'm hoping to finish up most of Machina Village. Machina Village is pretty quick in terms of if you don't do any side quests, if you just focus on the story, you get done with Machina Village fairly quickly. So I'd like to get most of that done today. That way when we move on to part 101 and then onward, we can uh, be moving on into the Maconis. We're actually getting fairly close to the end of the game. We're definitely past halfway. I don't know what I would consider halfway in this game. The end of Valak Mountain, maybe? Sometime in Sword Valley and Galahad Fortress is like the official halfway point. If not right at the start of Sword Valley. Because you get through Maconis a lot faster than you do uh, Bionis. We still have a good bit of game to go, though. Definitely still a few more hours of uh, probably at least like eight more hours of story gameplay, if not more than that. There are a lot of mech on over on uh, Fifth Digit Beach, whatever this place is called. Ah, you saw me. Why'd you have to see me, you stupid... What is this, a woodpecker? It's apparently just a prototype. I thought this was called the woodpecker. And I cannot inflict break on you. I completely forgot about my rule of not trying to... Uh, and now here come more. The Megon just never stop, man. I almost didn't use thunder. That would have been less than ideal. All right, get this one out of here. Let's get this next one. Focus our efforts, everyone. Let's kill the crap out of this one first. Die, I say. Die. Oh, are you broken? Ah, oh, I used it at the wrong time. That was bad timing on my part. Get that up, fence and defense down. Was that a... Did a chain attack thing pop up for like half a second and then go away? What the heck was that about? I don't want to use... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't want to use Blossom Dance on that one. He's about to die. Let's Blossom Dance this guy dead. Can you not, like, have future visions while I'm in the middle of using Blossom Dance, please? It's very rude of you, to be honest. I it, see, it messed me up. I I freaked out as soon as that popped up. I need you to... Oh, I didn't topple you. That's less than ideal. Easiest dodge of my life. I was about to chain attack to finish it. Dang it. We got a gold chest from that, though. That's pretty rare. Don't mind if I do. Dated crank uh, amethyst gauntlets sound nice. Specifically because they have a slot on them. All right, I want to look at this, um... Oh, I know exactly what this heart-to-heart -heart is. Check out what we're about to see. Black Wreckage. It's the remnants of Mumka. Don't know if his body is still inside of the, uh... thing or whatnot. Uh, Dunman and Melia have to have max affinity at any time. I am not yet at max affinity, unfortunately. I was sitting here thinking like, ah, oh, great, I'm gonna get to do this, because it's right here. And I have affinity between Dunman and Melia, but they don't have enough, apparently. Are they at four or three hearts right now? Hidden Village. Okay, so Hidden Village should account for, uh, the Fallen Arm and then all of Maconis, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might just be, uh, I don't even know if there are any quests you can get in Maconis. It might only be quests from the Hidden Village. But this should be all of the affinity locations now. We're at 4 with Colony 9, 2 with Colony 6, 3 with Central Bionis, 3 with Upper Bionis. Which this is basically Magna Forest, Satoral Marsh. I don't know if Satoral Marsh is Colony 6 or Central Bionis. Uh, Frontier Village. And then Upper Bionis is Valak Mountain and uh, Aerith Sea and Alchemoth. Alright, cool. Uh, da 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 da. Dunben has four levels of affinity with Melia. Only two with Fiora, though. I need to, as soon as I get Fiora in the party, I need to start using her some. 
I know that there's uh, one of these security units around here as a signature enemy, because I remember when I first played the game, uh, I had a lot of trouble getting the item. Digit 5 Beach. I had a lot of trouble getting the item because uh, a signature enemy would run around it continually. It got really annoying. I think it's that one right there. Yep, Splendid Botus. It is two levels ahead of us, but if we can fight just it, I think I could beat it. So... This Crabble isn't going to join the fight if there's a fight near it. So I'm going to wait until it comes back over here and I'm going to try and kill it. The item I need is right there. Alright, let's see if we can beat this thing. Let's go. Let's do this, guys. Hopefully this goes according to plan. Probably should have switched in uh, Charla for this, actually, now that I think about it. But it's too late now. It's taken damage pretty quick. Let's see if I can get some really good early damage with this uh, chain attack. Go, Ricky, go! There we go, inflict bleed. Hit it up with Bolt. Use Bolt. Yeah! Alright, cool. So we did get some good early damage off there. Naked field? What the heck is naked field? Are you trying to force me into doing the naked Dunban strat? Who do you think you are? We've already got it down a good amount, and it hasn't done much damage to us. Granted, that's because of chain attack and me, uh inflicting, or not inflicting, but uh, doing damage quickly, rather. Dazing it and whatnot so it couldn't attack. I'm about to get a Blossom Dance. I want to Blossom Dance while its defense is down. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Come on, Dunban. Big damage. Give me a crit. Alright, cool. I think we got this in the bag. Like Everyone's at full health. Yeah, I just realized. Oh no, it's boosting too. How dare you. I almost horribly mistimed that, uh, whatever it was, that Gale Slash combo. But we got another chain attack, so we should have this. I don't think this will kill him, but it's going to do a lot. Inflict as much bleed as we can here. I didn't mean to press left there. Ah, <laughs> oh, she didn't have any bolt. I thought those were bolt, but they're aqua and wind. Well, it's fine, though, because I get the times four on Worldly Slash. And I get, uh, what's Ricky's other red attack called? Sneaky? Yeah, hit him with Sneaky at times five. Nice. I did plenty of damage. We've got this. We've got this. It's over. Let me daze you really quick so we can finish you off while you're dazed. Time to die. All right, well, that went incredibly well, if I do say so myself. Did you say that Dunban learned an art? I always dread learning arts because then I think, oh, no, I have to, like, actually try and be smart and figure out what art would be better than another. Uh, da, da 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 Final Flicker, is that it? No. I had that before. Demon Slayer, that's new. A powerful attack on one enemy reverberates to all others. Finish enemy with Demon Slayer, all enemies suffer forced topple. Ooh. It does a lot of damage, too. You know, I was considering getting rid of Tempest Kick and Thunder because they use uh, Ether to attack instead of physical and I haven't really focused on... What's Dumban's Ether stat even at? Is it even any good? What is his Ether stat? Let me see. Uh, no, look at his Ether stat compared to his strength. Like, his Ether stat is his worst. I mean, agility is less, but you never get as much agility as you do the other stats, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm going to get rid of Tempest Kick and Thunder, despite how good they've been for us in this playthrough, and replace them with Demon Slayer and uh, Soaring Tempest, I guess, is the other one. Because that fills up the talent gauge a little bit, and it hits a bunch of enemies, so that's good for, uh... That's good for getting more Blossom Dances. And then I'm just gonna up them as much as I can. I'll have to get the books for them later. So I can get them up to, like, level 7. I like the damage of this Demon Slayer, though. It takes forever to cool down. But it looks really nice. Could be good. Alright, sweet. Should I go ahead and... What the... Ricky, what? I still haven't bought any books for you. That's why. <laughs> I have got to... I keep forgetting to. I have got to buy books for Ricky. That, that is such a waste. What does Ice do? Ice reduces ether damage, uh, discharge... I, I don't care about how much damage Melia takes. I think I'm good with the... With the summons that I have now. And I'm just gonna stick with them, to be honest. What's up, Mind Blast, I guess? Mind Blast does a lot of damage as well. It's cooldown isn't that big of a deal because you can only use it during, uh, her whatever it's called. She can only use it when her, uh, 
What the heck is it? When her talent thing is fully charged, what do they call that? Elemental burst or something? I didn't mean to click out. I wanted to look at the other characters too. Look at Ryan and Shulk, and then we'll deal with uh, Sharla and Fiora when they're back in the party. I also need books for Ryan. Dang it, man. I just need books in general, apparently. It was level 10 battle soul, but I never use it. Let's go ahead and max out Stream Edge. I don't like Shaker's Edge, and I rarely use it, so I'm not even going to mess with it. Now I'm just going to focus on Monado Arts, I guess. I could up Purge one more, and I think I will. I don't use Purge that often, though. Do I really want to? I think I'm going to up it one more time, just because it's what I have enough points for right now. I'm probably going to leave it at level 5 for the rest of the game, to be honest. I never use Shield. The rest of my points are going to go to Buster and Eater and... I don't use Enchant hardly any anymore either, so I'll probably leave it alone. I'll probably focus on Buster, Eater, and Speed from here on for Shulk's Monado Arts. As long as we're doing this, we may as well make sure that uh, Dunban is almost done with this fifth skill tree. Holy cow, he only needs 203 more. Is everyone else... Everyone else is still going. We have got to do the fourth skill tree quests for um, Ryan and Shulk very soon. That's going to be high on the priority list. Gonna have to kill these guys, it looks like, because they're guarding the item I need. Let's go. Time to die, you stupid mechon. Let's check out these new attacks. Alright, let's see. Uh, I want to kill this one with Demon Slayer. Let me do a... Uh, sorry, Tempest. That looks pretty sweet, I gotta admit. I want to kill this guy with Demon Slayer, because that, uh, that makes it inflict... Whatchamacallit on everyone else, right? It inflicts topple. Get this guy a little lower on HP. A little lower, a little lower. Now, ah, oh no, they did it just a second before. I used it anyway. That was a waste. I'm going to save Blossom Dance for the next fight, and I'm going to chain attack here to get a little bit of affinity up. Always nice to get more affinity. Better not mess up, Ricky. You've been told not to mess up, so don't do it. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Yeah, bolt. And now I'll finish it up with the uh, Worldly Slash. Or no, I'm going to use Demon Slayer even. Easy. I do like those two attacks. I'm glad that I got them. Excuse me. Give me this. Thank you. Pia Piazo Electric Unit. I don't know how to pronounce this word. I'm not even going to try again. But all right, cool. As long as I'm here, let me grab a couple of these uh, blue objects. There aren't any more signature enemies around on the beach, are there? I'm pretty sure one of the super bosses spawns around here, but not until later in the game. There are five super bosses. One of them spawns uh, immediately. You can fight the first super boss, which is the final Marcus, whenever you want at Valley Mountain. But then the other four don't spawn until not the post game, but very close to the post game. They spawn a little bit before the final uh, battle. Have I talked to you before, Mixic? No, I have not. Now you're on the affinity chart. Good. Ah, uh, quests are starting to pop up all over now. Cool. Well, I'm not going to mess with those uh, on screen. Wait a minute. Is that a Homs? This is a normal Homs. Excuse me. Uh, what am I going to do? I really have to get it to them. Hmm? You seem troubled. Hero Pond will solve all problems. Of course it will. Hey, maybe you can help. I don't mean to burden you with this, but I need some help here. I need to get food to the villagers, keeping watch outside the village. I haven't been feeling well myself, and I can't bring myself to go out. Uh, they look forward to me taking them their meals every day. If only someone else could take them to me, yada yada. I don't I don't care. Uh, da, 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 da. Again, this is just another, like, another quest that I'll do in my off time. I really only wanted to talk to this person because it's apparently a Homs in the Machina village. This is a Homs, right? This looks like a Homs. I'm pretty sure all Hyentia have silver hair, so it's not a Hyentia. It looks like a normal Homs. What the heck is a normal Homs doing here? Okay, you're just going to keep talking to me about your quest. I don't care. I don't care. I got stuff to do. All right. Let's go and take this to Fiora ASAP. Do you, uh, are you a certain person? Oh, you give a quest. I'll deal with you in my own time. I'm here. Charlotte, what's happening? Uh, I'll be here with Fiora. Hurry up and bring the unit. Yeah. Can I talk to Fiora? If I can, like, get it to stop jumping to Charlotte. There you go. Uh, who should we thank? The Bionis or the Mechonis? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a cool little side thing with Dunban. What's this heart-to-heart? -heart? Uh, Fiora and Dunban at max happiness. That's not gonna happen for a while. That's like a post-game heart-to-heart right there. 
How did it go? Did you find the unit? Best believe I did. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo electric unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo, will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. I didn't notice until just now, but I'm pretty sure all of the Machina are like seven foot tall. Uh, by the way... Like, look at this. Shulk comes up to, like, Shulk's shoulders are at her waist. That's pretty ridiculous. Yes? The chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. All right, well, let's go talk with Jabba the Hutt again. Is this not where I need to go? Looks like the girl's going to be okay. I knew she would. Ha ha ha. Uh, you can rest up for today. We'll talk after that. Oh, I have to go rest first. All right. Works for me. Where? Oh, I think it's going to let me sleep in this house over here. Have I got you in the affinity chart yet? Uh, Zekit? I don't know how to pronounce anything that has an X in it, to be, off, uh, to be honest. Uh, you must be tired. Please feel free to use this room. Would you like to rest? Yes, I would. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Um. How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes, we agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Munkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid. He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. <laughs> what incredible timing! Dixon! What are you doing here? Why do you ever ask what Dixon is doing somewhere? Dixon shows up wherever the plot needs Dixon to be. I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. You know, he you would think that that wouldn't be obvious, but it really is. It like it makes the most sense. The fallen arm is beneath Sword Valley. You fell off of Sword Valley, Galahad Fortress specifically. So there's only one logical location, or two actually, dead in the ocean or here. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world, and we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, 
But it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. Oh, yeah, man, you know, because I was planning on touching it until you pointed that out. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. I like how he mispronounced it, but the subtitles still spelt it correctly. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. What? What do you- There's nothing to think about, man. We gotta go save the world here. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't ya? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end here prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised, too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mekon, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora. Nah, it's fine. If he dies, we'll just bring him back as a Mecha Homs. No worries. Are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances, Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, 
I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. What now? Where did everyone go? Everyone had to clear out for the chief Are to come out? Going? Chief, do not ever interrupt me in the history of your life again. I don't know who you think you are. Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name. She'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a Machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fura, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But... If there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonarda. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. All right, well then. Things are, uh, progressing pretty nicely. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female she was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. I wonder who that face unit could be, guys. It's as much of a mystery as Mumcar was. I'm sure at least 98% of us know. There may be one or two people who don't get it yet, and don't worry, you'll see soon, but the majority of us know. Shulk, take this. Also, really quickly, before I forget, he said face unit uh, 20814, right? So assuming he started from, like, 001, that means he's made over 20,000 face units, unless they started with, like, 20, 
and then three digits for their recognition, which means he's made over 800 face units. That is an insane amount of people turned into Mechon. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. All right. Uh, let's change up the party a little bit. You know what? I'm going to run uh, Fiora over Ricky. We're going to do Fiora, Dunban, Melia. Start raising the affinity between Dunban and Fiora even further. And also get some affinity between Melia and Fiora going while we're at it. Hello. Ele Elequa? Elica? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to pronounce many things in this world. What level is that pterodactyl, by the way? Because the one in Machna Forest was like level 80,000. And by 80,000, I mean level 80. I know you can fight those things. Let me lock onto it. Come on. I want to see what level it is. Just let me know what level it is. Ah, uh, there. What? Terex? It's only level 55. I could totally kill that if I could find a good position to attack it from. But I could totally murder that thing. I imagine digit 2. Where's uh the first digit? That's the wrist. So that's digit 1. So that's digit 2. That's the path I need over there. What is the... How do I get over there? Do I need to go to Digit 5 Beach and go around, possibly? I don't remember, honestly. We're in the late game, alright? So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a rundown of my last two playthroughs of this game. Because, like I mentioned before, I've played this game twice now. This is my third time playing it. There are a bunch of treasure chests over here for some reason. This is technically my third time playing. I'm gonna ignore these mech on, because there are like eight of them. It looks like I need to go around this way, so I do need to go to, uh... Digit 5 Beach. Uh, when I first played the game, it was back when it originally came out in America. I think it came out in America in 2012. I bought it like a week or two after its initial release. I wasn't looking forward to the game or anything. I didn't know about its existence. I was in GameStop one day, saw it, bought it. Because uh, it intrigued me and I had a Wii at the time. I think I had a Wii and a Wii and a PS3 at the time? When did the PS3 come out? PS3 was out in 2012, wasn't it? I got a PS3 when it uh, was released, so... I don't remember exactly when the PS3 came out, but I got one when it released. Uh, if I didn't have Wii and PS3, then I had Wii and PS2 at the time. And GameCube. But, you know, Wii is basically GameCube anyways. Look, it looks like you can just go on forever. Uh, it looks like I need to take these paths around. But anyways, uh, I got the... I uh, didn't have a ton of games on either the PS2 or the PS3, whichever one it was I had at the time, along with the Wii. So, uh... I, w I had a bunch I had a lot more games for the Wii than anything else so when I went to buy games I would normally look at Wii games first and then PlayStation second uh, da -da -da -da. that's the black face wreckage so anyways what I'm trying I'm gonna get to the point in this story eventually don't worry uh, so I bought this game because you know it looked like a lot of fun and Wii games were what I focused on buying back then let's kill this uh Seeker unit. Oh, another one flew down. What the heck are you doing here? Kill the blue one first. But anyways. So I got it in 2012. Played the game in uh, 2012. Beat it in, I don't know, like a week or two? I played games like every... I still play games every day today, but I like had a single game that I would play Back when I was younger, I would focus on like one or two games at a time rather than playing several like I do now. Nowadays, I'll fight like I'll fight, I'll play like uh, three games in a row, or three not in a row, three games at a time. I mean, sorry that I couldn't save you in time there, Melia. I got you. Don't worry. But anyways, give me some uh, talent god, please. Thank you. Very useful. So anyways. But beat this game in probably about a week, maybe two weeks at the most, because it's a fairly long, uh, fairly long game. It was my first, like, uh, I don't think it was my first, but it was one of the first, like, really big RPGs that I played. And uh, I played it through all the way back in 2012. Then I played it again probably, like, only a few months after that, maybe in, like, 2013 or something. Did this come out in late or early 2012? I can't remember. 
probably early 2013 or late 2012, I played it the second time, and I never beat it the second time I played through. I got a little further than we are right now. I think I got to the Mechon capital, the place that we're going to right now to get to Egil. I got that far, and then I uh, stopped playing it. I don't remember why, but I never finished that second playthrough. So, because of that, I've only played uh, through this part of the game, like... Honestly, I've only played it one time rather than two times, technically speaking. And that one time that I fully played through it was back in 2012, you know, four years ago. So my memory of uh, of this section of the game is even foggier than my memory of the rest of the game. So expect a lot more me not knowing where I'm going. You know what? I should have used Blossom Dance there just to see what happens when you use Blossom Dance and Chain Attacks. Does it make you go through the, uh, through the whole quick time pressing B event thing? There's Signature Enemy over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Thought there might have been a Signature Enemy there. Where do I need to go? What level are the mech on around here? They're like, okay, so they're, uh, low to mid 50s. So I'm about at the level I need to be at. Excuse me, worker bee unit, who do you think you are? I'm going to destroy you. I was wondering if uh, my levels were about where they needed to be. And a couple of levels ahead of the enemies we're running into is where I want to be. Like two or three levels ahead of them. So this is pretty much perfect. Exactly what I want. Fiora, from what I've been told from the other people, is a uh, fairly high damage dealer. She's similar to Shulk except a little bulkier and probably a little less damage, I imagine is how it goes. People, I haven't gotten like an in-depth explanation from anyone or anything, but people have been telling me about how she's pretty good at damage dealing, that's uh, her main focus, and a lot of people would use uh, her and their teams because of that fact that she would deal a lot of damage. Seems like a lot of players, I play a lot safer than a lot of other people do apparently. What is system alert? Ah, oh, you just summon, you just made three mech on materialize out of thin air, how is that fair? But it seems like a lot of people uh, play more offensively than I do, actually, in this game, which is surprising because I am a huge... Th that pterodactyl is here. We're going to get to fight the pterodactyl, which may or may not be a good thing. Probably a bad thing with how many enemies there are here right now. So many enemies that I'm getting a little bit of a slow-mo or craminess, whichever one it is. I can never honestly tell with this game. I can't tell if the game is adding in a... Wait, 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 let me hit this. Kill him with this and it should inflict topple. It did it just like I hoped it would. Sweet. Everyone focus on this offensive seeker unit. Let's uh, really quickly try and kill this guy with a... How long does that topple last? It seems like it lasts a while. I like that. Do you, what elements do you have? Bolt, hopefully? No, it looks like fire. Fire is good. Fire does good damage, and I think it's uh, AoE damage. But anyways, it seems like a lot of people, surprisingly, despite myself being a huge fan of uh, offense over defense... A lot of other people are more offensive in this game than I am, because most people uh, apparently do not use Sharla in this point in the game, which honestly surprises me, because usually whenever I get into a boss fight, I need Sharla to keep me alive. Maybe it's not a matter of them playing more offensive than I do, it's a matter of them just being better at the game than I am, because I always feel like I have to fall back on Sharla to help keep me alive. I'm glad we're getting to fight this pterodactyl, because I did want to fight it, to be honest. You can't see a pterodactyl in the game give you the option of fighting it and then be like, ah, nah, I'm gonna pass. Like, let's be honest here. We all want to fight a pterodactyl if it's a possibility. But yeah, it seems like a lot of people, they go, like, all-out offense with, like, parties consisting of Shulk, Brine, Fiora, and Melia. And, uh... Did I say that right? Shulk, Brine, Fiora, Melia, and Dunben. I forgot Dunben. Right. But people run parties mainly between those five. Some people have also told me that they throw in Ricky because Ricky's cool, I guess. But uh, Sharla appears to be the least used character when you get this far into the game. But I definitely, when I played through the game, I remember back in uh, good old 2012 when I first played the game, I definitely remember using Sharla for basically the whole game. She was probably my most common, because I would, uh, I stayed mostly a Shulk, but I would switch to Dunban every now and then. But probably the most common character I had in the party with me was Sharla. Look at all these items I can grab. Or one of you did it S signature? Signature? Level 57. It is not a good sign to me that we're starting to run into mech on that are the same level as me. I would very much prefer if I stay like 
two levels ahead. You used System Alert while there were already like four enemies around? Are you kidding me? I need to use uh, Tempest Attack so I get a get a lot of uh, talent god. Dude, that fills up. Okay. That fills up a Blossom Dance way too fast. Like, that is amazing. I am so glad that I decided to put this move in because being able to fill up... Uh, fill up my talent gosh that quickly. I didn't think it would do it that well. That's great. Ah, no! Dang it, I wanted to get the topple effect on everyone. Not the rush attack. Can you guys stop focusing on Melia? That's not okay, man. It's not okay at all. Alright, wait a minute. Chain attack. This guy's almost dead, so we'll get another uh, bar once we kill him. Melia, unfortunately, looks like she's about to go down, which is not good, but we we'll, I've got a gauge up now, so it's fine. Please use Bolt. Yeah, Bolt. There you go. I was really hoping I would get a Chain Link there. Although, I guess I shouldn't be uh, expecting many Chain Links when I'm running... Uh, get up. Encouragement. Shouldn't be expecting much... Uh, whatever it is I'm thinking of. Kill this... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what was that sudden? I'm about to lose. Yeah, I did. All of the sudden, everyone lost like half of their health and got toppled. I was not expecting that. I also wasn't expecting, like, I thought, oh, cool, four mech on. I could beat four mech on at once. Then that stupid whatever it was summoned like four more. So I was fighting eight mech on at a time. Like, what the heck was that? I'm ignoring these guys. Screw you. I got places to be. That was really dumb, though, that I was suddenly surrounded by eight mech on. When I'm running a super offensive party. See, look, like, moments like that. If I had had Sharla there instead of either Fiora or Amelia, either or, then I would have been perfectly fine. And so, as a result of that fact, I almost always ran Sharla in my parties. This little guy right here, this Mechon M64X, whatever it is, it just, all it does is summon a crap ton of other Mechon. Yeah, it just did it there. Apparently, that's all it does is summon a crap ton of other Mechon. Screw off, I'm not fighting you again. I already beat you. I am going to kill this little punk right here. He's dying. He is dying. Kill this worker bee unit first. Come here, you. Check out my laser sword. I mean, uh, Shulk's had a laser sword the whole friggin' game, but this one is mine, and that makes it better. What? How do you summon three flying mechon into existence, exactly? What capabilities does a mechon have to be able to do something like that? All right, we need to hurry up and kill this guy before those two over there get into this fight. Because then it's going to be like six on three. I that's that's a one to two ratio. I don't like that ratio. I'm not even going to have them focus fire with me. It's fine if they want to fight that one. Die, I say, you stupid seeker unit. She just tell me good footwork. Here we go. Get toppled, you nerds. All right, let's kill this guy with chain attack really fast. Here we go. It's over, you foolish mechon. I love this music. Have I? I don't think I've talked about that very much in this game, and I should be talking about it consistently in this game. The music is phenomenal. Absolutely great. The Oast for Xenoblade Chronicles is just fantastic. I, I know I talked about it when we first got to the Bionis leg really early on in the game. Because Guar Plains has, like, one of the best Oasts of all time, in my opinion. So, uh, I know I talked about it then. Ooh, gold chest. But, uh, the music in the game overall, like, throughout the entire game is very solid. Very, uh, very happy with it. Good music does not make the game, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Come here, you stupid seeker unit. All right, let's focus on this guy first, then we'll get the big one. Because we can probably kill this guy faster. I think that I want to really quickly get Blossom Dance. I'm going to use Blossom Dance in this chain attack and see what happens. I'm going to try and... Hopefully I'll get a chain link. I'm going to try and use it... Uh, I'm going to try and use it when it's at, like, times four damage. Get it, Fiora. There you go. Oh, she doesn't have any spirits. Dang it, I should have paid closer attention. Okay, here we go. Let's see this times four damage blossom dance. I do have to go through the, uh, whatchamacallit. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Okay, so if you kill someone with it, then it goes to the next person. Increases tension, uh, increases damage to enemies suffering topple. I have not inflicted topple. I can use any element I want here. 
Ah, oh, she doesn't have a green, though, because Melia's next attack is going to have to be green, unfortunately. Because all she's got is Starlight Kick. Ooh, that did a lot. I didn't get a Chain Link anyways. Which, I'm pretty sure Melia and Fiora have, like, the lowest level of affinity, so I guess I shouldn't really expect to be getting that. To be getting a Chain Link between the two of them. Even between Dunman and Fiora isn't very likely. Yeah, that, uh... Demon Slayer does decent damage, and if you do kill it, if you're in a fight with a couple of enemies and you kill an enemy with it, it's very useful. Lower Chainsaw, that's the move it used before that just screwed me over out of nowhere. Come on, come on. Lower its offense. There you go, it doesn't do nearly as much. Can I back up a little bit so it doesn't hit me as well? Okay, it only hit uh, Fiora that time. I got you, sis, don't worry. Get up. Ah, uh, it's time. Gonna finish this thing off with the good old chain attack. Time to die, you foolish mechon. Okay, now Fiora can use that attack that does better on topple enemies. There we go, that's a lot. Finish it off with a bolt. It's too easy. Melia seems like the best person for chain attacks. Because she can summon up three uh, elementals, and then, you know, that works as the whole wild card for linking things. Digit 2 plane, happy to be here. How much time have I got? I've got a few more minutes. Oh, look, there are wisps here. Very high level wisps. Holy cow. I want to make it to the Maconis foot and then wrap up for today if we can. If we don't run into any more big battles, we should be able to, which is exactly what I wanted from part 100 here was to finish up in Machina Village and make it onto the Maconis. And it looks like we just might do that if we don't run into any more big fights. Machina Village doesn't really have a boss unless I'm totally forgetting something, so we shouldn't run into any huge enemies. If we see a signature enemy, I'll fight it, because that's just what I do. Looks like you can climb that. Do I want to climb that, though, or just go along the edge here? I think I just want to go along this edge. I think this is the path she was talking about that goes to the Maconis foot. Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. Yeah, it definitely does. Does it get all the way to the Makonis foot? It doesn't look like the arm reaches all the way to the Makonis foot. Is this the thing that I can open with the key I have? Oh yeah, it just automatically opens for you if you have the key, I guess. That seemed highly unnecessary for that much spinning, but okay. This doesn't look... The finger does not appear to reach all the way over to the Makonis' foot, but it does get close at least. Just trying to get a good look at the Maconis. All right. Let's go. See if I get a cutscene here or not. You know what they should have added for a boss of Machina Village? They should have like a giant sea serpent just pop up out of nowhere right here and fight you on this pathway. That'd be great. I would have loved that. Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different. Seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here. But our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been... horrible. Scary, too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities and call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh. Uh, excuse me, what was that? Fiora, is there something you'd like to tell the whole party? But anyways, if you need to break a circle of hatred, l let me just get my get my buddies Naruto and Sasuke over here. Okay, so now the finger all of a sudden does reach all the way. It did not look like the finger... Why is it so long all of a sudden? The finger was not this long originally. How did... This did not look like it reached all the way to the leg, but here we are. I think we're going to be wrapping up here, guys. Am I at an hour? I'm nearly at an hour, so... Oh, look. We can take our first look inside of the Maconis. Look at this. 
about as you would expect. Uh, instead of having biological insides, it's all mechanical. Clearly. It looks pretty cool. But anyways, we get a cutscene just up ahead, apparently. Which will probably tell us, like, it'll give us another area thing and show where we're at on the bottom of the Maconus. But here we are. We are at the Maconus. I like this music, too. Anyways, we're going to stop here for today. I'm probably going to go and try and do some uh, quests in between now and next time at the Hidden Village and other locations. Get my level a little higher, because we're roughly, like, the enemies are starting to be on the same level as us. I want to be a couple of levels ahead of the enemies. I think the boss... Or the next boss we run into, it's like the... I don't know what part of the Makonos it's the boss of. But the next boss we run into, I think, is level 60, I want to say. Level 60... It's in between 60 and 65. I know it'll be at least 60, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong on that, but I'm fairly certain it's at least level 60. But anyways, we are over an hour now, so this has been at least an hour-long video. So, I can stop now. I wanted to make sure... I want to make sure that when it gets uploaded, it says at least an hour. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, also, when we come back next time, probably before we really start getting into Makonis Field and whatnot, we'll probably go back and do some heart-to-hearts, because I meant to do that today, but I didn't. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time for part 101. Until then, farewell.